Washington, people who smoke are 60% less likely to vote than their non-smoking peers, a new U.S. study has found. The study is the first to link a health risk behavior with electoral participation, researchers said. One on hand, the result is intuitive. We know from previous research that smokers are an increasingly marginalized population, involved in fewer organizations and activities and with less interpersonal trust than non-smokers, said Karen Albright, from the University of Colorado Cancer Center, and the paper's first author. But what our research suggests is that this marginalization may also extend beyond the interpersonal level to attitudes toward political systems and institutions, said Dr. Albright. Through random digit dialing, the study reached 11,626 people who completed a telephone survey querying a range of demographic, social and behavioral factors. Questions included smoking behaviors and whether the respondent had voted in a recent election. Overall, 17% of respondents were smokers. Holding all other variables constant, daily smokers were 60% less likely to vote than non-smokers. The study is the first to link a health risk behavior with electoral participation building on the work of a previous Swedish study that found an association between smoking and political mistrust. Voting is a direct behavioral measure of civic and political engagement that at least partly reflects trust in formal political institutions. One possibility is that smokers may view political institutions as oppressors, given widespread enactment of tobacco taxes and clean indoor air laws, researchers said. The stigma associated with smoking may create social withdrawal or feelings of depression or fatalism among smokers, which could decrease voting, they said.